guys. For some reason, I'm always in the car whenever I film because it's always when I'm at church, whenever I just feel the Lord telling me to say stuff. <laughs> so I feel like if I go, wait till I go home, that I'm gonna forget everything I say. So I'm just wanna, gonna do it in the car. I wanna do, be real and raw with you guys about how, like what has been going on in my heart. Um, and I, um, and I guess I didn't really realize this until a couple weeks ago, but I'm currently going through a season of spiritual warfare and I'm, it's kind of settled down by now. Like it's not as intense as it was a couple weeks ago. And I kind of want to talk about like, what do you do when stuff like this happens? Cause to me, spiritual warfare brings doubt. Spiritual warfare just brings sadness and anxiety to, like just like puts me in this state of just sadness i found myself realizing that or feeling so alone and i felt like i had no community that there wasn't anyone around me that could help me that could 100 percent that could totally perfectly lead like lead me in my faith life it's just spiritual battle between me and just doubting God's plans for my life, doubting everything that he has spoken to me and just doubting like, is this even real? And the Lord just was, I mean, not the Lord, <laughs> the devil was just putting lies in my head and he was questioning me, asking me, do you, is that really what the Lord told you? And it kind of reminded me of Eve whenever the serpent was questioning Eve. Are you sure God told you not to eat from this tree? I think your God was lying. And once I realized that, it made me think, like, dang, like, that is obviously not, like, these things are obviously lies from the devil. Throughout this spiritual warfare, I was experiencing happiness. I was happy. When I was with friends, I was joyful. I was laughing. I was having so much fun. But deep down at the end of the day, when I sat in my bed and I was examining my day, I realized that I was not happy, that there was something in my heart that just did not rest well. And I wish I could tell you guys how to deal with it. And I wish I could tell you guys, he, these are the steps that you can that you can do to uh, combat um, spiritual warfare, to combat sadness, to combat doubt. Sadly, I can't because I don't have those answers. And the only thing, the only thing I can tell you guys is to surrender yourself to God. To surrender yourself completely to God. I'm currently praying the novena to surrender, the novena of surrendering yourself to the will of God. And it was a perfect novena because one, spiritual warfare. Two, I was so focused on trying to do the will of God the best I can, as perfectly as I can, that I was scared of doing the wrong thing. I was scared of going the wrong way of choosing the wrong choice choosing the wrong choice and because I was so focused on trying to do the right thing and all of that caused anxiety it caused doubt in my head and one thing that I have to remember we have to remind ourselves is that we will fall we will go the wrong way and because we are human because we are flawed we will make wrong choices and that's something that I have to be okay with something that I I have to be okay with I have to accept because God wants to bring his mercy to me he wants to bring mercy and a little backstory about just wanting to do the right thing and just fall and trying to follow God so perfectly is because I because God has given me this vision he's given me this vision of my life and in a sense that it is so precise so intricate so detailed that if I were to say if I were to say that I do not understand what God is demanding of me then I would be lying D the priest that gave the homily today said that we need to have joy in good times of course we need to be joyful we need to be grateful but our faith truly comes through in the darkness and that's where we need to be the most persistent I don't remember in w what context he was saying this in but I remember the priest saying there is a vision 
just like that there is a vision <laughs> and he let it, he said it so loud and clearly and his arms were stretched out open wide and he said there is a vision and that's literally all i remember i was trying to figure out in like what concept what he was saying about that there was a vision but it was definitely god's voice speaking through him just reminding me that my vision is not a lie but the visions that the Lord has set in my heart are good and they're full of new life and they're full of joy and goodness and just the way that the Lord so so just like precisely united himself in my heart and mass was a sign that I needed it was a sign that you know God is with me you know he sees me surrendering my will to his trying to align it to his no matter what my desires are no matter what I want to happen, he performs miracles, whether they're miracles that I wanted or that I didn't want. He knows my heart. He knows the deepest, true desires of my heart. And there may be a desire in my heart that I truly, truly believe that I desire, but I truly, truly don't, you know? So we just have to have peace and diligence. And that's what the priest told me to do for my penance, to have peace the dilig diligence <laughs> so it was just kind of great hearing the like priest say that because I knew I wasn't crazy for believing this thing God told me I wasn't crazy for you know believing this message that I believed God was speaking to me if I've been asking for signs if I've if I have been asking Jesus um, for eyes to see him for knowledge to know what he's telling me to do I would be a fool if I wouldn't if I didn't believe him. I would be a fool to believe that he hasn't been speaking to me when clearly he has. Like he, he has indeed shown me signs. He's shown me the way. He's shown me that like he has been speaking to me. He has. And I just want to tell you guys that if you are in a dark place, if you're in <laughs> if you are just going through maybe spiritual warfare or just anxiety, depression, sadness, surrender yourself to God. Surrender yourself to the will of God because He is merciful, He's loving, He wants to just bring you new life. And start by going to confession. You have to go to repent. Go to confession. Either, you know, whatever you believe, whether you're Catholic or you're not, repent. Start with just completely opening up yourself to God and tell Him everything and tell Him, you know, God, I surrender myself to you. I'm sad or I want this to happen, but this is not like. Ultimately, like we need to want what God wants, right? And we have to pray for that because it is hard to want what God wants. Sometimes I don't even want what God wants. So I will actually link down below the novena to surrender to the will of God. It is a beautiful novena. And it makes you say this prayer 10 times. And it goes like this. Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. I'm taking care of it. I'm taking care of you. I'm taking care of your heart. I'm taking care of it. And don't fret. Don't worry because that is against surrendering. Surrendering does not mean to fret, to worry, to be anxious, to doubt. It means to give him everything. It doesn't mean to lose hope. We shouldn't lose hope. We shouldn't give up. We should just give it to him and tell him, you take care of it. You take care of it. And I'm just going to stay here in peace. I'm going to sit here and love you, and I'm going to sit here and just do that. We're just called to love, to be still, to have peace, to have hope when we surrender. And we're just meant to just rest in God's heart. I heard you guys to do that, and I pray for that. So let's pray. <laughs> in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for... So I'm kidding. Ugh. What? <laughs> I'm... So I'm sitting here editing the video and I realized that my phone or my camera ran out of storage so it cut off whenever I was praying. So let's continue the prayer. Um, duh, hold up. In the name of Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Um, thank you, Jesus, for letting me um, just speak about what has been going on in my heart. I pray that if there's anyone who is feeling darkness 
or is going through spiritual warfare or even those people that are just walking in the light right now i pray that they all surrender themselves to you that they surrender all their desires um and all of their wants and all their needs so that they may be more closely united to your heart in jesus name amen in the name of the father son holy spirit amen um yeah have a great night guys and i'll see you guys next time my hair is so crazy oh my goodness all right bye bye felicia